Hello everybody, it's been a while. <clears throat> We're to quilt in heaven, as sort of promised as of the other day. I just had this thought that, you know, it's time we did stuff. And I was discussing this with um, Sally up at Jam on Top Textiles. And the next thing I know, you saw the photo, look at that heap. That came out of her stash. <laughs> and she was on about getting rid and doing. And um, I'd been talking about doing the next Twitter quilt and I fancy sort of traditional and sort of ditzy prints and things. We're talking old fashioned stuff. And the next thing I know, I have this heap to come home with. So now I've got to make a quilt with it, haven't I? So I did stick out to everybody a few suggestions. All right, um, you probably saw that. You can't see it probably on, on the video here, but there is a photo of it on Facebook. Um, and it's a bit of a layout of a 12 inch block system going on with a few bits of fillings and things. I don't normally work to anything, as you know, I usually just let us have a go and see what we get. But I thought, well, we'll have a structure this time, make it a bit different. So we're actually going to be doing eight different blocks, but two of each block. And I did say yesterday or today or at some point anyway, um, any suggestions, any ideas, anything you want to do. So <clears throat> today's block, block number one, which I've got number one as in the centre. But actually, do you know what? We When we come to put it together, you put your favourite ones in there. But this is just the first one that we're going to be doing. Um, Lynn Halsbury actually put on poppies so I got my book out and I looked at my traditional poppy blocks and I've been playing this morning and I've decided they're fiddly but I'll go away around that because I can't help myself so there we are that's going to be our first block okay so in my book these were done as 12 inch blocks so if you wanted you could just up the sizes and just make one poppy head. Me being me, why should I let you off the hook? We're having four within a 12 inch block. So I just sized it down <clears throat> so that we could multiply them up. Now, how do we do this? Accuracy would be the word I would normally say to everybody, but actually, do you know what? I'm not bothered. The only things that I've done anything near accuracy in here is the actual joining of the pieces once they're made but let me just show you how we do this thing so first off cut all your pieces now I have got a photo of this all done and I'll put it over on Facebook um, in the group Patchwork Wittering Fabian so that you can pick up on the sizes all right so we're gonna have a big square so that's obviously the red leaf you're gonna have a little black square which will become the center and then I've just done background and I've mixed up, um, as it goes, three different fabrics. Now, I needed them, let's see, there's two in there, um, to be quite different to the red. <coughs> Otherwise, in my thought, excuse me, it's an awful lot of effort if you can't see what you're doing. So I've got a pale green, a white on white, because that's what's in the scraps, um, and a pale blue ditzy but the green I've taken off the shelf behind me here it's Tilda um, Chambre it's very lovely green and I thought flowers we'll have a bit of green so each we're gonna go for six inch pieces so each one of those we make in four okay so there's four sections and then we put the four sections together to make one poppy and then we do that repeated so we have as I say a red one I think that's three and a half inches there's two that will be the outside edge or two inch square and the little black that will become the center is one and a half inch okay so that's that cut then your three little squares I don't know if you can see this now I'm gonna hold it a bit closer do 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 I've drawn diagonal lines corner to corner across the middle on the back okay <coughs> um depending what fabrics you're working with you might want to use the water erasable or something that's going to disappear i'm lazy i used a box which i really shouldn't and i shouldn't advise to do but it's what i did so there we go i'll only be honest there we are so that's now ready for the next stage okay put that to one side now let me just fold this all back so you can see it 
you lay the three small squares right sides together on top of the big square okay so I've done little black ones that will become the center and then the two that are going to become the background okay now when you're doing this be careful to make sure that each of the four pieces that's going to make this are laid out in the same direction don't be going suddenly this way because you'll get it looking odd when you try to put your block together I know because I did it earlier so hence pointing it out right one 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 now um, you machine these on that line okay on the diagonals right sides together with the back now keep your black one as accurate as you can make it that's the only one I will say having said that when you look at mine they're not very accurate at all but do you know what doesn't notice does it now these the two small ones that are on there you've got the lines to follow <coughs> now I cheated because I figured it can be quite difficult to get everything exactly where it needs to be and in a straight line okay so I've done something weird for two reasons one because I can and two because it didn't matter if it's not accurate and we like this so I don't know if I can show you this there is a line down the center but actually I've not even machined on that I've machined towards the outside edge by about it's possibly almost quarter of an inch this one I've moved towards the outside edge of the line and that's about an eighth of an inch different and I've machined them on and do you know what I don't care if none of it matches the only one I'm worried about is the black for the centers and even those as I say didn't come out fabulous on mine <coughs> but that's all right so now you've got this weird looking thing with all these squares on. all right so nice sharp pair of scissors and then about a quarter of an inch away, you're going to cut off what's underneath because you don't need that bit. All right, so I'm just going to clip that off there. OK, so I've taken that corner off. I'm going to take these two corners off. Be careful not to go too near your thread. You don't want to actually, I'm all for a bit of a, a dodge, but you don't want to be cutting your thread. All right, so there we go. Just cut that one back there. So I've got this weird shape going on. All right, so it's a bit weird, but these will come over and fill out your square. Now, because I've not bothered with where I've stitched things, you do need to just square that back off to three and a half inches square, okay? Take it from your black, your three and a half, all right? So that's all a bit whoopee, and now there's one that I prepared earlier um, that is now squared off and ready to play all right <clears throat> so I've got all these hundreds of bits of fabric here what I did earlier was I just I just cut everything that I was going to need for a block okay so there's quite a few bits of cutting and then you're going to join four of those to get one poppy all right so just do that for a minute so you're going to get one poppy like that. Now, well, that one's not too bad. That one's not too bad in the centre. He's quite square. But if you look at that one, he really has gone cockeyed. But you know what? Flowers aren't perfect, are they? So as so long as the overall becomes 12 and a half, what's the matter with going on inside? All right. So, <clears throat> oh, there's Tom. So we join four pieces together. And remember, as I say, get your bits on the outside edge going in the right direction and then you get this nice poppy. OK, and then join them in two and then in four. Right now, as I said earlier, the only bits that I bothered about making sure that were accurate was after I trimmed. And then pin your black really well. And don't worry about the rest. Except, as I say, on this outside on the actual joining of the squares don't worry about what's going on in it and they all come out very slightly different and very slightly odd but can you actually see that no you can't so it says to me just go for it and enjoy it yeah so that's our first block 
actually I quite like it well, it wouldn't be one that I would have picked and I actually I've enjoyed making that and working it out and figuring out how to show you the best way and obviously making it my own by doing my own thing on it can't help not to but there we go so over on patchwork wish rings on facebook or oh, you'll find the link through from my page abby ann patchwork and quilting is the is the um facebook page and um, the group is witterings patchwork witterings of abby ann so if you've not joined please do um you'll find all the photos for this block and the plan and that i shall put them um, in the not in the files but in the albums at the top because we're on Witter Quilt 11 you will find in those albums Witter Quilts 1 to 10 as well so if you wanted to mix in any of that and match it fabulous I actually think you know if you carried that on as a repeat what a lovely and then if you did that you could actually applique in some stems or something or some leaves on the top I don't know you could go go mad on that one I think but we're only going to do two for this particular witter quilt but you do as many as you want if you want to be as accurate as you can please do so don't just think oh she's doing it so i have to you do what's right for you um i know that there's a few people out there that couldn't cope with my wibbly bobs they'd want it absolutely spot on and good for you but i'm just trying to encourage everybody to have a go all right so don't overly worry the end result that looks good right so what else am i going to tell you about this got that got that done that done that <clears throat> that's probably it for that block so you're going to do two of these if you're following my sort of intended plan having said that you know what i'm like i can go right off piece um tangent here we come and it could all change before you know it but for a minute we'll go with this so what else is there to tell you because it's a while since i've been doing um all oh, bags of stuff Oh, I've been having some fun with these. Um, like any shop or business, <coughs> there's, there comes a time when you've got stuff that actually should be moved on a bit. So what I've been doing um, is I've been making up packs of goodies, all sorts of things, um, mostly fabric, I have to say, the old fabrics, and they're going out to you at cost, all right? And sometimes even a little bit below, if I've got an awful lot of it. Um, so watch out for those because i'm only doing maybe nine ten or even twelve at a time it depends how much i've got that i need you know what, what i'm trying to move on so it's like a sale but better than a sale because it's literally cost price um i have been putting in free magazines because i had a whole stack of them so i've been pu pushing out free magazines for everybody as well within the pack and um i don't know you you could land up with scissors and pins and symbols and all sorts of things or if maybe the package has um, faded or been damaged you, you, all these things are perfectly good but they're all coming out to you um, at cost or below so keep an eye out for them at the minute i think i've got just a few not a lot looking over there um bags of brown stuff that sounds terrible doesn't it but it's all brown not brown but brownish fabric it could be beige it's nice browns it, it could be rust colors but they're all rather gorgeous and they are all very good quality fabrics i'll say that now all of the all of the bags of stuff are quilting weight lovely fabrics either from tilda um Macawa, timeless treasures dashwood I've, I've had loads of liberty recently i've moved through you know so there's all sorts of things so keep an eye out for bags of stuff the next lot out will be bright surprises so bags of stuff being bright and a surprise okay so keep an eye out for those because they're only limited each time what else is going on festival of the quilt festival of quilts coming up soon so we'll, i'll be up there on the um book stand as normal helping out susan on kaleidoscope quilts so that'll be good uh, what else is happening oh plim quilters have got their um two-day show coming up in august 25th 26 something like that i shall be there as trader so it'd be lovely to see any of you in that area come say hello i am now teaching back up at jam on top in devon once a month so if anybody wants to come and play you could be doing your own thing or you could be doing the set project that i'm putting on each month totally up to you but space is limited there so do shout if you want it's all exciting i'm, I'm actually able to get out and do stuff 
thing, which I haven't been able to do for a long time. Still only within reason. Um, but yeah, it's all good. We had a, a retreat a couple of weeks ago to Mavagissi. It's gorgeous over there. It's not far from home, but it's just so lovely. And several of the ladies from Ireland came over and some other locals. And we had a fabulous, I don't think I've ever laughed so much. Certainly not on a retreat, on a holiday. We, we were having such fun. I, I don't know how much <laughs> that much stitching actually got done in the end. We were swimming every day because it was that gorgeous week. And we were finishing off projects. We were doing all sorts of things. And we were going out for nice little meals or breakfast or something. And visiting other patchwork places. We had a fabulous week. So there we go. We're doing that as well. What else has been happening? Tom. Tom was a naughty boy. Tom being the pussycat that lives in the cupboard here with me. Black Cat Tom. He's got his own pa Facebook page, by the way, if you want to go and have a look. Black Cat Tom. Um, give him a follow because he loves his patchwork and what's going on. He's always sat in the middle of the table here with the ladies. Um, but he had a poorly back leg recently. And then he got himself an abscess on his leg. Same bad back leg. And then during all of that, he got chased by a dog up a tree with it. Bless him. He, he had a bit of a week that week. But he's perfectly right now. He's just wandered back in. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm going to shut up now. I could go on and on, as you know two of photos all over in facebook in patchwork witterings of abby ann all right if in doubt just give me a message and i'll get back to answering you as soon as possible all right and if you think this is gorgeous like i do you can you can thank lynn for that one for her choice if there's any blocks that you love leave a message somewhere for me and i will see can we incorporate it that might be nice wouldn't it there we go um just gonna say be lovely See ya.